Now, for Magic 8 Ball 2, I've left Magic 8 Ball here. Remember the show beginning. And this time, you are asked to create a random number between 1 and 4. Now, obviously, if the number's 1, the hello can stay where it is. But what are we going to do now is that we want to add another. So, this says if the number between 1 and 4 is 1, then show string hello. Else if, now we'd be quite tempted, I guess, to duplicate this, to duplicate the whole expression, okay, and put it in there. And say, okay, if we then choose a random number on here and put it in there, okay, that equals 2. However, I'm hoping that you can think about that and work out why that doesn't work. It doesn't work because if we pick this random number one, between 1 and 4 and we get 1, then this one could be 1, but we've already discarded the fact it might be 1. So what we need to do is set, is use a variable here so that we can pick the random number first and then choose the value next. It's a good use of variables. So you make a variable, and we'll call it num, okay, the number. And I'm going to say num there. And I've got a variable. I can set my number now to a particular value. I'm going to do it right at the beginning. Okay. So here, okay, you can see I've slightly changed what I've done. I've set a random a variable called num. And I've set it to a value between 1 and 4. Then I check that value to see if it's 1. If it is, I show string. Then obviously, if it's two, I'm going to show the next one, and then I can use these pluses to add different ifs, else clauses. Okay? And here you need to change the message so that we have things like run, jump, fly, and walk. I'll allow you to finish that off and just grapple with the else and if then elses and use of variables. When you've finished, of course, you can look at the JavaScript and you can see it's very similar if else if else yes and also make sure that you save this as magic eight ball two